Hey there, Pisces, and welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so great to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, squad? So check it out, guys. Y'all know the drill. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? We could be talking to a cross watcher here, so the roles could be reversed. Yes, just keep that in mind. Um, also, this is a time reading even though it's a message that's dated or coming out for the month of August of 2021 or during the month of August of 2021 that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time at any moment in your life in your existence when you are guided to watch this reading then that is the message for you in that moment regardless of time frame yes um, if you would like to support the channel, I highly recommend that you guys check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. I do put all of my extra content there on Patreon when I'm called to do so. Um, and the type of content is always changing and evolving. That's what I've come to understand about my Patreon page at this point. So there's that. But if you would like to get extra content or if you would just like to support the channel, I highly recommend you guys check me out on Patreon. Yes, the link can be found in the description box below. Also, um, um, shoot. Oh, make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs for a full picture or a full and complete message for the month or the time period. Also, if you're looking for love-specific messages, check your Venus sign. And then, um, oh gosh, there was one last thing that, ah, yes, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and make sure to smash that like button if this resonates for you. And also let me know down in the comments section how this resonated for you and or anything else you want to share. I love hearing you from you guys. Let's have a conversation about it. Whew. All right, Pisces, let's get into this here. So I like what I have for you in terms of your pre-shuffle. All right. First card that I did see come out here is the Nine of Cups. So there is a focus on happiness for you. Now, this is not necessarily like ultimate wish fulfillment. Yes, the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment here, but it's a card of wish fulfillment on a more physical, more mundane level versus what the star, the ultimate wish fulfillment would represent, right? So what I'm getting for you, Pisces, in terms of this energy or just in this time period of your life and existence right now, there is a heavily focus on, there is a heavy focus on just being happy, just being content in your everyday life, going about whatever it is you do in your routine or your day or whatnot, whatever, just Feeling happy there. I'm hearing also releasing resentment. And releasing that resentment will help you get to that place of just feeling happy, right? So that is what your focus is right now. You have the Nine of Cups with the World and the Six of Cups. So there are some things, there are some previous past energies that had you either had or have you in a state of mental imprisonment here. You do have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But quite frankly, Pisces, it's this Eight of Swords energy that I feel like you are working your way out of. You are working your way with the Knight of Pentacles here. You are working your way towards a completion of these past circumstances, these past feelings, these past energies, whatever it is from the past that you are currently dealing with that is coming up to your... Uh, consciousness for uh, for for um, to be seen, to be heard, to be felt, to be experienced, to be worked through, to be energetically cleansed and healed and cleared. Whatever it is that is coming up for you at this time, you are working on breaking yourself free. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles, you're moving slowly but surely towards away from this toxic energy of the past, whatever that used to be, and towards greater happiness on the mundane level, we will say, okay? Just like a baseline of happiness for you, Pisces. You, and this Eight of Swords energy is an overall energy for you. This has been a circumstance that has been holding you hostage or keeping you in a bind for a long time. It's an overall energy because it's what you've been dealing with for a long, for an extended period of time. But Pisces, you are actively working your way towards closing this out. And the last card that you have here that came out, it came out face down. It's the opposite of the Eight of Swords. It's the Eight of Wands, okay? You're literally in the process of breaking yourself out of this Eight of Swords and moving to a, a state where you can move forward with the Chariot and the Eight of Wands here. The Chariot is a major arcana version of the Eight of Wands, both very fast-moving energies with clear and open space. Nothing is obstructing this movement. And what the Chariot is representing here for you, Pisces, is 
feeling free on a soul level. No longer being in this Eight of Swords confinement energy in terms of your soul, feeling stifled, feeling like you can't move forward, feeling like there's nothing you can do about any sort of situation. That's all bullshit. That's all part of the conditioning or the confinement mentally that you find yourself in that you are currently working on breaking yourself out of. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that was just your pre-shuffle. So let's reset. <laughs> I know that was terrible of me. <laughs> anyway, Pisces, I'm going to reset here for you and I'm going to give this a few shuffles just to clear the energies of the deck to get it into a neutral state. And then we will give the deck five shuffles here and we will get into the rest of your reading for this month. Yes? Here we go, Pisces. Five shuffles for you. One. Whoops. Oh. This deck is starting to go, you guys. It's starting to do that thing where it like creases really, oh, you can't see it like that, like, where it creases really bad. I don't like it when my decks do this, but this is one of my favorite decks, so I'm gonna keep using it until I can't use it no more. This is two for you, Pisces. For my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, potentially even Venus here for the month of August 2021. This is two messages for August 2021. For my Pisceans, this is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Pisces. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. We're starting you off with the Eight of Pentacles. All right, you're working really diligently. You're working very hard. You've got your nose to the grind. You know, you're not really focused on anything extra, anything superfluous. You're like, your attention is taken by what it is you are working out of, working your way out of. I want you to recognize, Pisces, that you had the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and now the Eight of Pentacles. That's an 888. I want you guys to check out that message. Uh, look that up. Look up, look up what uh, look up what the number eight is or repeating eights are, what that would represent for you. Yes, come to your own conclusions, but look it up for yourself. I feel like it's a very strong number for you right now. Underneath the eight of pentacles is the queen of cups. Underneath the queen of cups is the nine of wands. And then underneath the white of night, the nine of wands, we are circling right back to the world Pisces. OK, so first of all, don't give up. Continue unconditionally loving yourself, Queen of Cups, because what you're working on right now is closing out of emotional cycles that have held you captive for a long, long time. Okay, so don't give up. Keep pushing forward because literally, Pisces, you have an ending in sight. Oh my goodness, Pisces, look at this. You have the world here right back to the Eight of Wands. Underneath the Eight of Wands is the Page of Cups to that Knight of Pentacles again. So there is definitely a good amount of inner child healing that could be happening for you right now also. The Page of Cups does represent your energy here, Pisces, but also it represents the energy of the inner child. And what I feel like is happening here are a closing out of restrictions on the energies of your inner child that keep you from manifesting or being in tune with your higher self or exactly what it is you want or what it is me meant what it is that is meant for you, okay? So keep going, don't give up. The end actually absolutely is in sight here for you, Pisces, yes? Excellent. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. So we're gonna be looking at the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energies moving up into the current er energies of where you find yourself currently right now. Second half of your reading is going to take where you currently are right now and look a little bit forward in the future for you, yes? Excellent, Pisces. Here we go. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. The Fool. <sighs> Piscean energy for sure, but look at that. You're taking, you're moving forward towards a leap of faith. Now, this still is a little bit of a, of a future energy. Like I said, we're looking from the past onto the future, but uh, I'm sorry, from the past onto the current energy. But what I'm getting for you for this, Pisces, this fool energy is what you're currently moving towards, what you're cleaning up the past energy, past energies of, you're cleaning those energies up in order for yourself to bring an end to the cycle or an end to the circumstance, the world, for you to then take a leap of faith or start a new chapter, a new circumstance in your life, whatever, 
okay? Closing out the world and starting a new cycle with the Fool, all right? I love it. The Fool is coupled with the Hermit. So, there is a lot of self-reflection happening for you right now, Pisces, or at least in this time period, whenever you're guided to watch this reading, whenever this resonates for you, okay? In order for you to take this leap of faith, to close out these cycles so that you can move forward to the next cycle, you are going to have to do, a, 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 what, what I'm hearing is, either a large amount or a strong amount of deep soul searching. Inner wisdom is key here. Understanding yourself, understanding where you have been, understanding where you are trying to go to, ultimately what you're trying to get to, but also understanding who you are in relation to whatever it is you are closing out from the past and what lessons your soul or spirit has learned that you can now complete and take over with you as you move forward. Okay? I like this. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading, you do have the Two of Cups. Okay, what I heard here in this situation, Pisces, a relationship is over. So for some of you, this is you bringing into focus the, re the, the realities of certain relationships or an actual relationship that you've been involved with recently, lately, and bringing that to a close so that you can move on to the next phase in relationships for you, pers interpersonal relationships for you. For others of you, or maybe even for the same people that resonate with the whole relationship thing, this relationship could also represent the integration and the balancing, harmonizing, and union of masculine and feminine energy within you that is now taking shape in the physical uh, sense, is now starting to represent itself in your physical reality. And that actually could be expressly why a certain romantic relationship or maybe even a friendship or a group of friendships, a group of interpersonal relationships even could be ending for you right now because of this soul searching, which is bringing a greater integration of masculine and feminine energy into your physical waking, walking reality. Okay. Two of cups is coupled with the five of pentacles. Okay. What I just heard is the, it, the reintegration process is well at hand. So this is definitely a representation of you bringing yourself out into the, out of the cold, no longer leaving yourself out, of, out in the cold, five of pentacles, and doing what is right for you and integrating yourself so that you feel whole and complete. You're not feeling like you're lacking. You're not feeling like you're missing anything. This could be exactly the reason why a certain relationship is ending because with this uh, soul searching, this self-reflection and closing out of energies from the past, six of cups, also certain soulmate relationships, six of cups, you could be recognizing that these relationships are rooted in a, in a sense of self, of lack of self-worth, excuse me. These relationships, you're starting to realize that these relationships that could be coming to a close or ending for you right now have roots in a lack of self um, belief, a lack of self-worth. And that's exactly why they could be coming to a close. Because instead of interacting with these situations or individuals from a lack of self-worth, you are now taking your, in essence, taking your power back, integrating with yourself and recognizing that you don't need these associations or relationships any longer because you already feel empowered. Beautiful Pisces. Your challenge in the first half of your reading it's the Ace of Wands, wanting to move in a new direction. However, your challenge actually is translating into this Ace of Wands is translating into um, you wanting to move forward and complete the cycle. Because remember, you have the Nine of Wands here in your overall energy for the month or for this message. Okay, so your challenge is following through with closing out and completing the cycle and finishing out a sense of overburdening yourself. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that hard of a challenge. It's just what you are charged with in this moment. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Empress. Mm. Unconditionally loving yourself, but also I'm feeling uh, giving birth to a new reality with the Empress here. It is within your energetic resonance, Pisces, to end a certain cycle or a certain relationship or something in service of being able to have a clear and fertile ground to create something new. Beautiful. And that is directly translating to your sense of happiness. Nine of cups in your, in your pre-shuffle, yeah? 
Excellent. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading. You do have the Five of Swords. Okay, what I'm getting specifically, though, with this Five of Swords, Pisces, is dropping the battle, dropping the fight, or picking your battles. Consciously walking away from something that is no longer serving you, that is a lose-lose situation, and that could have everything to do with certain relationships that are coming to an end, that you are bringing to an end to, that you are bringing to an end yourself. Five of Swords is coupled with karma, or in this deck, it is, uh, this deck, it's the karma card, but this represents judgment. You are literally rising above the superfluousness or the struggle or the battle or the ego fights. The ego orientation is what I'm hearing. That's what you're rising above. That's what you're asking to, that's actually what I just heard was that's what, that's the karmic reset that you seem to be going through right now. Picking your battles wisely, choosing what it is you wish to associate with, what it is you engage, which you wish or choose to engage with, and what you don't, and what not. Yes? Beautiful, Pisces. I really, really love this for you. Yeah? Okie dokie. Let's get into the second half of your reading. So we're going to be looking at the current energies, the current energetic field, and off into the future what this could be meaning for you. Yes? First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Pisces, we do have the three of wands. Excellent. I just heard making preparations for the future. So it's already, it already is underway. But I definitely did just hear that. The cycle is already coming to a close. It's already completing and you are already generating momentum towards the next cycle. So this three of wands is you continuing to uh, to generate or keep up with that momentum, but it's also you making physical preparations for the future. Whatever it is that's meant to be coming into your life at this point, now that you're closing out certain cycles, okay? I love that. Three of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Pentacles. This is all coming from a state of independence, groundedness, self-assuredness, if that's even, a, if that's a word, self-assurity, whatever it is. Belief in yourself independence, sovereign thinking, maintaining and retaining and owning your sovereignty, thinking for yourself. There, for, there, for some of you, maybe even many of you, but for, for some of you, for some out here, what I'm feeling is like it, you are consciously choosing to end old attachments, to end old cycles. And it has nothing to do with whatever, what other people have to say or do in terms of the situation. It has everything to do with what it is you want what it is that you need, the clarity that you are coming to on your own outside of what anyone else has to say about it. You are making your preparations for the future from this point of view, not what others have to say or do or what their involvement is or what involvement they want to have. No, this is you, independent, strong, and focused. I'm hearing virile too, potent. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading. You have the Two of Swords. Interesting. The, um, uh, I feel like this could be you having your blinders on, keeping your blinders on, not really focusing on the external anymore. Turning your focus onto the internal reality and, and placing more value there. That's what I'm hearing. Value. Okay. I'm hearing value for you very specifically, Pisces. So... This is kind of translating into you focusing on solely what it is you value and nothing else. Keeping your emotions in check also is what I just heard. Okay, Pisces. Two of Swords is coupled with, ah, yes, the Ten of Pentacles. You've completed a lesson. You've completed a life cycle. For some of you, this is you blinding yourself or, or denying anything that would keep you from closing out specific cycles. For others of you, or maybe for both, this is also blinding yourself to anything else other than what it is your goal is, what it is ultimately you want to create in the future. For others of you, maybe even for a select some of you, this all is wrapped up into one little tightly, neat, neatly packed package. But also some for some of you, there is an ending of denial here because truth has come to light and it is setting you free. Okay. And thus, 
That could be why you are in the process of ending a certain cycle because the Ten of Pentacles, in my opinion, also represents life lessons having been completed. And for some of you, this life lesson had a lot to do with certain elements or certain levels of denial, okay? Your challenge, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, strength. Maintain an, maintaining an ego balance. Uh, maintaining a balance between your heart and your mind. I mean, I'm trying to expand on that, but really it's literally just keeping your ego in check. So for some of you here, I already felt, I already kind of picked up on that, you know, keeping yourself in check. But your challenge moving forward here, I, for some of you, what's coming up with this ego energy is a sense of materialism. And it's coming from maybe uh, allowing your mind to be over responsive or overreactive, maybe getting a little bit ahead of yourself. There also could be, you know, some of you could be facing the, the very real potential of gaining much more monetarily in your life. But this is the but what strength is 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 presenting for you in a challenge at this moment is you not letting your ego run amok with the possibilities of what could come for you in this next phase or this next cycle. Keeping your ego in check. Okay. Strength is coupled with the three. Yes, the three of pentacles, Pisces. Yes. Working on yourself. Instead of focusing so much on what your ego has to say or what your ego wants, really doing the work, holding your ego back to continue doing the self-fulfilling building work. Self-healing is also what I heard there. Beautiful. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you got, ooh, the devil. Interesting, Cancer got the devil at the same spot. But for you, Pisces, this is facing your demons, is what I just heard. And for a lot of you, you're getting to the point where you're so emotionally aware and strong that you can look at these demons and now for the first time in your life say, oh my God, you're really not that scary. You used to terrify me. Like just the thought of having to face you, it was enough to make me piss my pants in the, in the past. Not anymore. Now you just look like a fuzzy little 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 monster thing. You're actually kind of cute. <laughs> I love that, Pisces. The devil is coupled with... Sometimes I really amaze myself with these readings, man. Temperance. Finding balance. Facing your demons and finding balance. I mean, it would be one thing if it was just, if it was the two of pentacles, right? Because sure, that's physical balance, but this is ultimate spiritual balance. This is literally handling your demons and finding a way to integrate them. Past circumstances, shit that was just swept over, under the rug in the past that you were refusing to deal with, couldn't deal with, weren't healthy enough to deal with, just didn't want to do, whatever, not anymore. You're taking the bull by the horns and you're taming that damn bull. Beautiful. Beautiful Pisces. I want to get, I'm going to move forward here and I'm going to close out this reading. And what I'm being guided to, to use for you, Pisces, is the love your inner goddess for All right. This doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. This is the deck that I was um, guided to move to, to close out with the reading for you. So here we go. We're going to use it. Yeah. Five shuffles here. One. Two, three, four, and five. For my Pisces, closing oracle guidance for this message, please, spirit. For Pisces, closing all of the guidance for spirit. Okay. You have card number 23. White Sage. I just get this feeling from this Pisces that, yes, sage is a cleansing herb. Okay, you burn sage to cleanse the energies of your, of your environment. Uh, 
Somehow, Pisces, I feel like this is translating into you being that sage. You being that cleansing, healing body or having this ability to cleanse and heal, not just for yourself, which is what you're doing, but also for others. Like I'm literally seeing you standing as a representation of the white sage that you burn to cleanse and heal. Okay. That was coming through there. I wanted to share it for those of you that for those of you that it will resonate with. But here we go. White sage. In a reading, it says, it is safe to let things unfold as they will. You don't need to fix things, nor try to force something to happen. The universe is already working things out for you. There's no need to question your vision or your intuition just because situations are working out differently to how you thought they would. The universe is a little bent and certainly has a sense of humor, but ultimately it is kind and knows the best way to accomplish all that needs to happen. You are very much part of this. All things will come together in the correct way at the best time. The universe has your back. Trust that you are being helped. Excellent. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information is in the description box below. And as always, I highly recommend that you guys check us out on Patreon. Make sure to smash that like button if this resonated for you. Leave a comment down below letting me know how this resonated for you and what this is bringing up for you. Also, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. With that said, I think I hope you all have a fantastic month. I love you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>